you for all the time we were writing the practicums. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please um, subscribe and thumbs up to this channel. I want to say to each and every one, if this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel. And um, for all my, um, my <laughs> last years and um, my subscribers, I'm so grateful, so grateful, so grateful for all that you guys are doing for me. Um, this is just so wonderful what is happening. And I want to say to each and every person out there, it is going to be one of the most important um, thing and stage in each and every, every one of us life. There's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of changes in um, this this month um, for all you Capricorns. And what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing growth, passion, gossip, and grief. Okay, so um, it's a lot with working with the art check records. Um, the first week uh, is growth, so a relationship is taking a wonderful, lovely form. The second week is passion, and the third week is gossip. And uh, the gossip is going to come from a Taurus um, person and uh, a Gemini person. So be aware of this energy vibration of these two women are not really nice and. Uh, um, they, they seem to be gossiping and you know the strangest thing is that um, these two persons who are gossiping is two people that you have helped so whatever is happening it's going to be um, a situation where um, these two people and you know don't look at anything as green it is just time um, to move on from the situation so uh, um, you know, and it's, I want to go because there's, I see workaholic here, workaholic, I see a lot of energies of workaholic, but yet still I'm seeing the Four of Swords, is it? You're reading, yeah, <laughs> you're reading because I believe you're reading in different ways now. It's as if you're reading, there's something that is going on in the month of May for you. Capricorns, something, the lovers, seems to be good with the lovers, passion, and anger is going to come to those two, and the sun is going to come to all the people. So this is good. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I always go deeper in the form of what you're going to expect, but I have been talking, laying out your cards, looking at them, and I'm thinking, okay, but now it's, you know, it's, it's, it's coming to a place where there is going to be, even though there will be grief and ending, the sun is going to come out, and that means this ending in the grief that you're dealing with someone, the sun is, is going to come out over, um, you know, like, um, after the rain, the sun always comes out, okay? All right, um, I'm going to go deeper in your breathing now. This month has the energy vibration of the devil. So a lot of stuff that is happening, that was happening behind the scenes, is going to come out now. It's really, really, really going to come out now. So um, stuff that has been happening behind the scenes is going to come out. Because certain things, uh, the devil was in the details without me really knowing what was going on. The devil was in the details without me really knowing what was going on. And in this month of May, the devil is going to um, open up things. And this is good. I never used to like the energy of the devil being in the details in a month, but now I understand, especially why the people do this. Because there's a lot of stuff that you weren't aware of and they're all going to come out in this month. And you Capricorns know that. That is what you like. You like to have clarity for things around you. Your focus is going to be focus. 
of an organization. This could be where you're working. An organization is going to be um, looking at you and it's in a good way. It's in a good way. It's in an extremely good way. Um, respect. I'm getting a lot of respect. I'm getting a lot of people looking at someone and saying, oh my God, wow and I'm getting really it's as if you have gone through something <clears throat> and now people are looking at you and said oh my god this woman is you know she has done something or this man has done something that is really 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 good so good things are happening good things are coming up happening things are good um, new creation new things, new wonderful things are happening and this is extremely good. So be aware of this, okay? It's an organization. It's as if someone is looking at you and it can for some people because this is also a spiritual card. It's a group of people can be looking at you. It can be angels and guide. It can be um, the Ascendant's Master, so the Godina see that you're really doing something that is affecting a lot of people's lives. So the spotlight is going to be on you in this month of May. And it's not going to be bad. The spotlight is going to be on you in this month of May. And it's not going to be bad, okay? As we go on, um, your, 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 the whole month is surrounded by good things. I have the two of swords to my right, and I have the anchor to my left. You know, so there's going to be clarity and stability coming in in me. Clarity and stability coming in me, and this is good. Clarity and stability coming in me. And it's going to be extremely good. So, there are certain things, little e-cups. I don't see them as e-cups. I see them as um, you seeing um, people for whom they are. And you are just, you know, letting them go. Okay? In the first week, first week, the general energy is the energy of the lab. And you have the energy of the, the prince or the king of swords. I told you I gotta get my glasses. So, whatsoever is happening, something has been happening. There has been a love relationship between a Capricorn and a Gemini, a Leo, or an Aquarius. But these water sign people are the very attractive to the Capricorn people in the first week. Some of you have been having this relationship for a long time. Some of you is a sort of a relationship that is uh, connected at some higher level than the huge role. And this relationship is has been something that you guys have met and you're talking to each other and certain things are happening. So, but whatever is happening, a growth is coming in. Healing and growth, which is extremely good. Growth. So, if this relationship was just um, a casual relationship, it is growing to become something else, which is wonderful. It is really growing to become something else. So whatever is happening here with your relationship, this relationship, the growth of this relationship is growing to to you know to become something that is going to stand the test of time. And this is really going to be a love relationship. It's going to be wonderful relationship that is going to bring both of you 
light, happiness, and joy. And you both, a whole lot of talking will be going on. Um, it's as if you're going to connect and you're always co communicating with each other, whether it is in this reality or in the spiritual world or in the reality um, beyond. This is a relationship that is going to last the test of times. It's going to become you. You, you both are going to become very, extremely co close friends, good friends, okay? As we move on and we're looking at the energy vibration of the second week, the energy, the general energy is strength and you have the energy of the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is you're looking at the things that you have planted and you're wondering when are they going to grow? When are they going to um, become, you know, the growth? You're looking at when are they going to grow? So this is going to be extremely, extremely, extremely wonderful because what is going to be happening here is that uh, um, the energy of uh, um, the growth, the inner, you're going to reach in because you're looking in the second week of May, you're thinking, oh my God, I've done so much, I've done this, I've brought this, where is, you know, the things to reach, but you'll be working on your passion in the second week, and this is good. So your passion is going to lead you to where you need to be in your life in the month of May. So in the second week, um, you're looking at what you've planted, but yet still the passion within you is going to move you to a higher center, and a higher elevation in your life. And by that, you're going to meet um, wonderful new people coming in your life. Extremely wonderful new people coming in your life because with the passion, you find a passion within yourself and within something that is going to help you to move you and is going to connect you to wonderful good people in your life. And I love this for you in a second. And um, as we look at the third week, the energy vibration of the Empress governs the third week and Earth energy vibration. And she is here with the Queen of Souls. And as I put this, these cards up, you know exactly what is going on. You both know these two persons. Sometimes, whenever it's a Capricorn person, a Taurus or a Virgo, she will come as the sign of the Empress, okay? Whoever this person is, the, the energy vibration of the Queen of Swords is the energy vibration of an Aquarius, Gemini, or um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And these people, these people are, these two women, these two women, you work with them. You work with them or you have some business proposal or some connection with them, but you work with them. And these people, uh, these two, you know, let them be the self of their own guide, you know, these two. Let them be the self of their own guide. So, because you know, sometimes you can do all the good in the world, but you can never do good for people because it's always something, okay? Um, gossip, <laughs> yeah. So, think about who is this Capricorn or Virgo, this earth sign person in your life with the sword person. They are gossiping about you. And, you know, when people gossip about you, it's okay. Let them gossip because, you know something, their energy their energy vibration is so low because if their energy vibration was high, they would pick up the telephone and say, listen, I need to have a conversation with you. I need to have a conversation with you. And this is it, you know. So, you know, these people, they're, they're, they're two people who are of low energy vibration because... If they gossip about you, they are going to gossip about each other too. So whenever people gossip 
over you, the same two people who gossip over you, one of them is going to gossip about the other one. And the, both of them can gossip about this. So, you know, these people are your low energies and, you know, they don't need to be around you and you don't need to be around them. And even if you are around them, stand tall above them and, you know, just stand tall above them and understand where it is, the place where you are at this time. But this gossip with these two is going to come to an end. Okay? Because you can gossip just so much and no more. So it's going to come to an end. So whenever gossip, and this is what I'm saying, whenever you find out that people are gossiping about you, there for tomorrow. Okay? As we go further, we have uh, in the fourth week, Fourth week, we have a situation with um, um, the, the Kaiser or um, the Emperor, and you have a situation with the Five of Cups. So there might be a situation where some people, some people, have been, you know, decided to, um, you know, really put a foot behind a situation at their work or. Um, do not, do not, do not have, um, you know, you know, so it says, yeah, uh, what's that a good idea? And even if you have it, do not have any sadness about the situation. Have absolutely no sadness about the situation because when one door is closed, another is open. So have no sadness about the situation just move on with your life just go on with your life just um, you know pretend as if you don't see these people because um this um emperor has the connection with the empress and this person you know look at this situation this is the energy vibration of the fire sign and you're going to have a fit no 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 it can be a fire sign, but it can also be a boss for some people. This uh, it can that your your contract is needed to renew, or it is the end of the situation and you're moving forward, and that is good because it's okay. Move forward, go forward. Um, you will have the feeling of guilt, of um, grief. Have no grief. Have absolutely no grief. Okay, um, pick up your whatever it is and move forward. Do not have any grief over the situation because there is going to be a better, something better. Because whenever things like this happen, it's for a reason and something better is going to come out. The reason why you have decided whatever you had decided, the sun is going to come over and heal this grief. So be aware that you will be okay whatever decision you are going to make in the fourth week. So have no grief. If you have a grief with it, the, your boss, that maybe you have said something and it's to, you have done something or this, maybe there was a situation and you react a certain way. You, no, no, if it was meant to be, it was meant to be. If it was meant to be, it was meant to be. The sun is going to come out because something better is on the way to you. So I have absolutely no grief. Um, you might miss people and that sort of thing. You went for something and now you move on. Sometimes you need um, to deal with certain aspects and you know, you've dealt with it and it's time to move on. So. No grief, just move on. It's going to be um, extremely good. Um, okay. Talking with friends or relatives. So it, it's a month where you're going to talk to a lot of friends, a lot of people. Um, a lot of people are going to be looking for jobs, trying to connect to network, trying to connect to people, and that sort of thing, which is um, very important. So. There's going to be a lot of talking that means they're going to be connecting with a lot of people 
um, if you be looking for work, that sort of a thing, and that would be good because at the end of the um, month, the sun comes out. Release yourself of the grief, you don't need that. If it's the end of the situati of work, situation and your own, own work, you know, and you're handed something, don't have any grief, just move on with your life because it's going to be good. Okay. Uh, so we move on and we look at the, um, certain aspects that are happening um, to you. It is, you know, it is a time when it's as if the guards are changing, okay? So um, a situation um, that you have with someone, um, you know, um, is, is, is going to change in a sense, difficult friendship, Friends, um, friend provides support in tough times. You know, you're going to have friends who are going to provide um, support in tough times. You know, really, really, really support in tough times. Friends are going to um, provide, you know, some people are going to have difficult friendships, but some people are going to have friends that provide um, support in tough times. So this is going to be extremely good, okay? As we move on and we're looking at the energies, what is going to happen um, because there are more information and this month I'm doing um, this card lesson in a totally different um, energy vibration way so that a lot of stuff will come out and, you know, what is happening is that uh, the sun, the sun, destined success, relief. Wow. Thank you. Yes. Destined success, relief. Okay. So, no matter how you have been crucified on the cross, you must always remember that there's a reason behind this, okay? Um, destiny and success, you know, a relief, destiny and success and a relief. This, the message in this is that no matter the gossip what these two are doing against you and how this person may be a boss and it's like some people who work either in an organization and these this earth sign i think it's like a taurus or a virgo person it's transpired with uh, um, um, the, the, the queen with, with someone of an, an hair element whatever they're doing you know they can't stop you they can gossip about you but this gossip is going to come to an end and uh, you know in in the hard times uh, there are going to be people supporting you in hard times there are going to be people supporting you and uh, um you know whatever is happening in the last week with your boss situation with your boss know that uh, this was meant to be it was the cleansing of something and this was meant to be as we look at uh, um, grief we need to understand because grief come twice at the end of uh, um, um, the month in the last week grief come twice the five of cups and grief and you need to understand that no need for the grief and the five of cups, and no need for that, um, because you are going to realize that things, the sun is going to come out, the cleansing is going to come out, because whenever you have the, the, the cross and, and, and the sun together, what happens is that you were destined for success. Sorry, you were destined for success. And sometimes people see that and 
they're just jealous, 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 jealous. They're still for success, and people are just jealous um, what is happening here. But, you know, the sun is going to come out, and you're going to work a lot in May. Most of you Capricorns are going to be an alcoholic in May. You're always on the go, but with the sun coming out, and things are looking up, because the sun is going to come out in a wonderful way and with the sun coming out and you know life seems to be taking off for you so whatever those people were gossiping about you leave it leave it it's a low energy vibration that you need to understand that that sort of an energy vibration is um you are above that so and um, that sort of a thing goals is rich success leads to stay put okay so this is good because what is happening here is that um, the sun and uh, the hunger is um, gold is reached success leads to um, stay put okay success is uh, stay put so this is going to be good. This is going to be wonderful. These energy vibration that are here is going to be extremely wonderful. It's going to be a month of wonderful energy vibration that is going to move you to a place beyond your wildest human imagination. And it's going to be good. And um, no matter what people will do and say, and do not take any disrespect um, from your, your boss and that sort of thing. And whenever these things happen, just stand above them. Do not answer. Do not um, wave the thoughts. Do not look at them. Just understand that, you know, you are you are much more focused on the spiritual world and you choose not to vibrate in the lower energy vibration as the rest. So, yeah. And, you know, sometimes people pretend with you, and this is the month that you're going to see that people are not really, um, the people are just pretending, okay? So, um, be aware that this is going to come out, and don't be surprised. Know that there's another, the other two element vibration of the um, Tauruses and the Virgo, uh, Tauruses and the a Gemini person who is uh, speaking about you. Just leave them if it's okay. Um, you know, just stand over and just move out. Because you don't need them. You don't need them. You really don't need them. So understand where you are in your journey. Understand how far we can go, how and where we can lead us. Understand these things and then you will be okay. And I'm saying, Namaste. Thank you.